The main mechanical work to be done during the construction phase is the installation of a structure to hold and support the PV modules. Different structures are appropriate for different uses and lifetimes, as illustrated on this slide. On rooftops, the structure is often fixed parallel to the surface where it's installed. Even if the roof is inclined, modules installed parallel to that roof are called flat. As we learnt in the first chapter, a module that is flat to the surface will not suffer from the effects of wind, while at the same time it will gain advantage from the slope of the roof. Installing flat is simpler and cheaper. On the other side, a tilted structure is more expensive to install, however the tilt can be optimised to give maximum output over the year. The decision of whether to install flat or tilted modules is a balance of price and the expected performance of the installed modules. How the structure is mounted to the ground or roof is critical. For ground mounted racks of modules there are two possibilities, a ground anchoring system or installation on a concrete base. The main advantage of ground anchoring is that it is easy to dismount and the structure can be more easily adapted to the terrain. Normally for these types of structure screws of 1 to 1.6 meters are driven into the ground. However this type of structure is unsuitable for obvious reasons for rocky terrain. Where the expense of a concrete base is a necessity, the fact that it can be easily dismounted does bring benefits. Dismount is especially easy if the structure is raised above the ground. There are different fixing systems for metal and tile roofs. For metal roofs there are two options. Anchoring the array directly to the structuring framing of the roof, known as the purlins, are specially designed anchors to the roof's sheathing that is the board or sheet material fastened to the rafters on which the metal or tile roof covering is laid. For the roofs, the most common method is a system that anchors the modules to the purlins. An advantage with this approach is that it's the need to drill through tiles to establish fittings is avoided. However, sometimes tiles have to be removed, resulting in a danger of roof leakages or, or worse. There are fixing solutions where tiles are drilled, but they introduce that major disadvantage, the repeated risk of tile breakage. For all solutions, consider worker safety, the roof type and the implications for the ceiling beneath the roof. For safety, it's important to install a lifeline or a skylight network where there is any possibility of falling or of the roof cracking or partly collapsing. When planning to drill or cut to install an anchoring system, make sure there's no asbestos in the roof. On occasion, it can be best to change the roof to a metal one. This decision should be made at the design and calculation stage of the project. At the design stage, take into account the loads on the roof. See this table for typical loads in a PV project. The load is particularly important when considering the effect of the wind, where both the panel height and the exposed surface must be considered and don't forget to take account of the extra loads that the roof must endure during installation. Access points should be distributed all along the roof surface. 